Hello there, this is James from James App Productions. For those of you who use sample libraries a lot, you will know that different sample libraries can have very different MIDI mappings, and that can be quite a struggle, especially if you are collaborating with people who are using sample libraries that are different than yours, or even just swapping among different drum libraries on your own. I see a lot of people who always have to drag the note up and down to identify the note they want, and that's just very cumbersome to me. What a lot of people don't know is that in Logic, you can actually customize the note names or the piano key names in the piano roll like this. As you can see here, I have this customized drum map and it makes it very easy to write music with drum sample libraries in the piano roll this way. It's way more complicated to customize the note names compared to some other dolls but if you follow along, you'll mostly just have to do this once. All right, let's get right into it. First, you need to create a new project. While you can do this in an existing project or a new project, I recommend creating a new project to do this so you can save this as a template and import it into other projects in the future. I'll show you how to do that as well. That way, you won't have to go through the whole process every time. Once you have your project open, Create an empty MIDI channel. I already have one here, but in case you don't know how to do that, you can right click over here and go to new software instrument track. And then you want to open the environment window. By default is command zero, or you can go to window, open MIDI environment. Now this is Logic's environment window. And when you are here, make sure the layer is mixer. In the environment window, click new, and select map instrument. Once you have done that, a small box with an image of a drum kit, this one, will show up. Sometimes you might need to look around to find it because it's hidden like this. But you can drag this over anywhere you want. You'll also see a new window with piano keys and notes pop up, this one. If you don't see it, all you need to do is double click the drum kit icon. Now, you can start editing the note names here by left clicking on them. If you see some existing note names, like these ones, these are from Logic. All you need to do is drag from the top all the way to the bottom and then select initialize names as note. And now all the notes will be reset. Once you have finished editing the notes, I randomly put down some examples here. Close the window and go back to the environment window. Now, go to new again, and this time select monitor. Now you'll see this box label monitor appear once you've done that. Now go back to the main logic window and create a new software instrument track. Now this new software instrument track is where you want to put your virtual instrument. It can be contact, superior drummer, or anything like that. For now, I've put contact with Modern and Massive from GGD. Once you put your virtual instrument on the track, go back to the environment. Now you should be able to see the new channel you just created, which is here, instrument two and instrument one. See this very little white dot here? Click on it, and now your mouse become a jack, and now you have this cable connected to the jack. And what you want to do is drag and connect it to the monitor. Just click don't remove and in a similar manner, click and drag the connector from the monitor and connect it to the track with the virtual instrument on it, which is contact in this case. You can rearrange it a little bit so that it becomes more clear what is going on. So what's happening here is this map instrument output goes into the monitor, monitor output goes into instrument two track, which is the track with the virtual instrument on it. Now, click and drag the map instrument over to the track that doesn't have a virtual instrument on it. And as you can see, now it becomes the map instrument here. The next step is to control click on this track and create a MIDI region. Now, if you double click this MIDI region, opening up the MIDI editor, you can see that our custom node names are here. Keep in mind that the MIDI region is not actually on the track with contact on it, but it's actually on the first software instrument track you created. But if you actually put some notes here, it will actually trigger the virtual instrument you put on here. And that's because we have the monitor here. Now, if you want to further customize, further edit the note names, you can always go back to the environment and double click on here 
and you can even click on the notes here to hear what different notes are triggering. For example, this one sounds like a hi-hat and I'll put hi-hat here like that. And once you have done that, sometimes you need to close it and reopen it to see the actual changes. So it's over here. So that's how you customize the note names in the piano row. Now, if you need to print the drums, for example, printing them into multi-tracks, you first have to drag the BD region onto the track with the virtual instrument. Otherwise, it won't print. And once you have printed the drums, drag it back up so you can continue to edit it. Sometimes you might want to combine different elements from different sample libraries. For example, I might want to use the shells from the Modern and Massive and the symbols from the GGD Helper and Kid. But I still want to use the same MIDI region to trigger the samples of these different libraries so I feel like I'm still working with the full drum kit instead of going into different MIDI regions. That is very easy to do. First, obviously, you want to create a new software instrument track and put the other virtual instrument on it. So in this case, I have the Halpern kit. And then you want to go back to the environment window and you see the new channel you've created here. All you have to do is click and drag from the monitor and put it to the new channel. And so what it's doing now is the MIDI region on the drum track here, which is this one, is outputting MIDI into the monitor and the monitor is sending out MIDI to both the modern and massive track and the Halpern track. So with the same logic, you can continue to create more software instrument track and continue to drag and drop the cables onto the new software instrument track. That's how you use one MIDI region to control several different sample libraries. Obviously, that was quite a process to set up the no names and you wouldn't want to do it every time. Thankfully, you can save this as a template and import it into future projects without doing this whole process again. First, you need to save this as a project. I'm just gonna name it Drum MIDI Mapping. So now, when you have the new project and you want to use the mapping that you created before in a new project, click the browser icon, go to the drive, and find the MIDI mapping project you just saved. Double click that in here. Now you'll see all the tracks we have in there. So now make sure you take the plugins and also very importantly, the IO, which is the input and output and hit add. And now you can see that we have the tracks from before. And if we go to the environment window, which is command zero again, you see that we have the drums here double click that the note names are all still there and you just have to create the monitor again which is over here drag this don't remove and then drag it over to the instrument track and there we go now you can write the midi in the new project and have the note names over here and that's it thanks for watching I hope this will help improve your songwriting workflow. Give this video a like if you find it helpful and subscribe for more audio production content. See you next time.